Wow, unbelievable. See what our very own brother, <laughs> Raphael Saini, has said after the Duke of, um, or the Duchess of uh, Sussex says she's 43% a Nigerian. Um, that is Meghan Markle, the wife of Harry, who says she feels very strongly that she's more Nigerian. You know, she's very Nigerian. We all know that her father is an American. She's married to a member of the royal household. I think the 16 line, yes. So Charles is the king now. William is next to Charles. And that's William is the next in line. Uh, Charles, William is next to Charles, William. Then his three children. Uh, then Harry, okay. Then Harry, then Harry's son. So these are, you know, Harry's son and uh, his children. So this is what is happening right now. And um, she found out, you know, they do this um, to know where you're from. That she's, according to the survey that was done, that she's um, 43 or 45% a Nigerian. Remember that her mom is a Jamaican. You know, and if you go to the history of the Jamaican, you will know what has really gone on in those regards. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. That they are also what they were also from Nigeria. So let's get uh, they were also from Africa. Yes, Africa. Let's get all the details. Why I am not surprised that Meghan Markle is 45% Nigerian, Raphael Oseni says. Amongst ongoing public reactions surrounding the announcement made by the Duchess of Sussex and former Hollywood actress Meghan Markle, indicating that she has a 43% Nigerian heritage, renowned politician analyst Rafi Oseni has come out to share his thoughts on the development. Recall that on Tuesday, October the 25th, 2022, Meghan, who is married to Prince Harry, a grandson of the recent deceased British monarch Queen Elizabeth II and a son to the current King Charles III, disclosed that a search into her genealogy a few years ago revealed that she is 43% Nigerian. The former actress made this known during an all-female post-discussion. As expected, the revelation has created a lot of buzzer and excitement among Nigerians online, including Rafi Oseni, who has speak speaking in a session of Arise TV this morning show on Wednesday. Rafi revealed that he is not surprised about Megan's heritage. According to him, most Africa, most American Africans or African Americans are known to come from either Senegal nigeria or gambia because these regions were largely known for the slave trade during the colonial era he went on to point out that a vast number of slaves were taken from the region at the time i mean you could almost guess that yes it will be around this area that is the senegal gambia region nigeria and all from most Africa, most African Americans. Why? Well, it is the heart of the slave trade. We all remember what happened, the point of no return. Most people were taken and traveling around this area. Large portions were Nigerian. Large portions around this area. Cameroon is like is like that. So I'm not surprised that Megan found to be that her heritage shows that she's 45 or 43 percent in nigerian so this is exactly what is going on our very own megan has come out to say well she feels very strongly uh, that um you know she's she's a nigerian and um she's you know she's excited about the news uh, we know megan very well uh, a woman who is strong mm -hmm. has a strong personality and um, of the royal household today so i mean these are some of the things that are going on and even our very own brother harry has spoken into it you know and i've declared that yes he's not surprised because um, we all know what went on in those years in those regards in those days what has gone on so these are things that are going on 
and Nigerians, it is high time we all begin to really look at these things and, uh, you know, let's, let's ensure that we support one another, no matter where you find yourself. You know, if you travel abroad a bit often or you travel abroad at all, you will see that uh, when you see a lot of other people, then all of a sudden you find somebody that is of your color or speaking your language. All of a sudden there is this kind of excitement in your spirit. I don't know about you. We just feel this kind of excitement in your spirit and you're so excited, you know, especially they now speak your language. Wow, game over. You just want to hug them. You just want to talk to them. You just want to get to know them, you know, and just, you know, have a discussion, a chat. I'm new here. What about you? Or if you're already there, established, you can support and assist and say, okay, have you done this? Have you done that? This is what to do. This is how to register for your health care. This is what to do. Children, school, you know, you just want to support. You just want to make sure that they are established, you see. So that's how we rule. We support one another. Yeah, we, we, we succeed by supporting one another. You do not succeed alone. You, you, you join others and you ensure that, you know, you support other people. You are there for other people, you know, you bring them in. You, you, you do not, uh, you do not, there is no, there is no, there is no uh, self, self-righteousness in it. And uh, it's all me champion kind of thing. No, taking other people along is very, very important. And so, you know, this is exactly you know what has happened she has found out that she's a, she she has the african blood in her you know she's found out that she's out we thank god they are doing well um we thank god that they are all doing well uh, uh, the thing is we'll just say here is you know please let's support one another if you travel and you see other people from your area from these places and you even if they are not your people just try to support people try to be there for somebody somebody somewhere needs help and do you know the funniest thing do you know that when you open your heart and you support the people that cannot be supported, do you know the kind of joy it brings? And you yourself, you feel fulfilled that you have supported somebody, you have brought somebody out of a shackle, out of a place. You know, and there's just, just this joy that it, that comes with it. So it is what it is. It is what it is. And it is high time, you know, that we all, you know, arise and ensure that things are done decently and in order. You know, so these are some of the things that are going on. And then we just thought to bring you up to speed. Our very own brother, Nigerians have been reacting, by the way. A lot of people have been talking about it. Say, I'm mega, no, I be more Niger, I be Niger, baby, you know. Some people say, no wonder, we can see, we see the energy. We know that you're Nigerian. There is no skin persons. In fact, some are saying, some have accepted that before the acceptance uh, speech safe. So don't worry, we know, we can see it already. You know, the way you carry yourself, your comportment, everything, we know that you are spitting fire. <laughs> Almost they spit fire. So we know that uh, you are a Niger babe. We know where that spirit comes from. You know, whatever it is, again, again and again, we just we can't emphasize it enough. Let's support one another when you're out there. You see somebody who is, you know, desperate and is in need, you know, genuinely. People that are not those who want to rip you off or take advantage of you. Let's ensure that, you know, we support people. You know, because the person you're supporting today may just be the ladder to your next elevation key. So why not, you know, not because you want something, but just be there to ensure that uh, somebody, make somebody, you give somebody a smile, puts a smile on someone's face. Yes? Bye.